The last Cavalier victory over Virginia Tech in 2003. Here is Peoples, and he's got the first down. And despite a four and six season for Virginia Tech so far, there was a buzz in the building before this game began. And the Hokies have moved the ball well into Virginia territory with another people's run. To be the owner of that brand new hat that Quint is wearing yeah, right now. Good nice job. On, good job on Black Friday. Willis dropped the ball on the snap and then somehow handed it to Holston. That was good enough just to recover it to set up fourth down and short. It's on fourth down this year. He's going for it on fourth down here, and Willis will move the chains potentially. It looks like a first down based on where the official came running in from. That's gotten a lot of play out of Turner, the wide receiver up to the top of the field. He was running the slant. He cleared out to try to get it to Peoples, but he could not hold on. Good job by Jordan Mack. Goal kicker Jordan Stout has his first career attempt from 43. The redshirt freshman cannot connect. Later, a chance to end a decade and a half of futility for Virginia. But that ball scrambling all over the place. That was botched from the beginning with a bad snap. I want Garbutt brought Perkins down, and that set off a chain of events with a lot of pushing and shoving at the end of it. Now Willis under pressure had that ball deflected by Charles Snowden. Quick screen to Grimsley. Makes two men miss. How about those shifty maneuvers by the sophomore from Williamsburg, back from injury as well. The books take all your stats and records and throw them right out the window. Third down, comeback route, and a good break by Caleb Farley to knock that ball down. Keep the streak alive. A conditional game next week if they win today. How about the slippery moves of Deshaun McLeese, who did not play the last two games because of injury. He picks up a solid run on first down. Willis on the design run. That second surge gets him the first down before he's brought down by Tim Harris. Win that to keep the streak alive. Willis bobbled by Grimsley, and it's incomplete. Us, man. Well, there we go. I mean, you know, he's, there, Kevin. He's, he's with you for sure. <laughs> There's Perkins again on that run, slipping tackles and showing some of his ability. This is a guy who is part of a Power Five group in Arizona State. Gonna try to run for it at the very last moment. He finds Joe Reed. How about Perkins with a little improvisation for the first down? Oh, that two plays ago. Great coverage downfield, this time by Tech. But Joe Reed gets loose. And he'll grab it very close to the sticks at the 49. We'll go with Ellis, their leading rusher, and he bangs his way to a first down, which should close out the opening quarter. The last play. They'll run it with Ellis. He got wrapped up, but still kept surging. Rayshard Ashby, the inside linebacker, grabbed him. There's Perkins again, still searching and maneuvering. What a job by Bryce Perkins to pick up the first down. Of losing a yard. Ellis slipping through for the first down inside the 15. It's been about the clip for touchdowns this year. They're only about 51% in touchdown rate in the red zone. Perkins gets wrapped up. Did that ball come out? That ball came out loose. And Virginia Tech takes over. And it's Dax Hollyfield out of the pack. And Ricky Walker wearing Beamer's number made the play. I like the way officials handle this. If they are in doubt about a fumble, they call it and let it play through. Now you can see here, elbow down, knee down, now ball comes out. That's not a fumble. But I like the way the officials play this through and they will leave it for the boot to figure it out. But left knee down, left elbow down. Before the ball started to move. Yeah. Ball's just call. That, 
yes, is, that is, st stands on the field. That's horrible. They're that just wrong on that one. And it's a subjective thing. Trey Turner breaking one loose for Virginia Tech. And he takes advantage of the takeaway and takes it all the way down inside the Virginia 45. Freshman, and this is just the jet sweep. They get him to the edge. And it's a 10-0 Virginia Tech win a year ago. What a play. That play. What a play. Sprinting in Jordan Mack, junior linebacker from Georgia, came in like a rocket. The sign to him, you see he comes flying through in a complete whiff on the block by Chung, number six. Willis, time running out. Pressure came from Zane Zandier, the sophomore from Pittsburgh. Perkins looking for an alley. He got hit hard by Dax Hollyfield. And let's see where they mark Perkins here. Zacchaeus in the slot to the bottom of the formation. And now in motion. Perkins gets hit by Belmar, but it was Ricky Walker that made that play. 25 today for the third time in his career. Yeah, you see just the great quickness he's able to blow right by Feeler. Blitz. Perkins has one on one, but he's off target for Zacchaeus. Yeah, he had him. Some pressure again, and he gets it off. Well, that may have made contact with a Hokie. Did Zacchaeus pick it up after it had made contact with Virginia Tech's players? There is a flag down at the 25 as well. Go Bell to see if your team made this week's rankings and to see how they can compete. The screen set up for Chris Cunningham. And he's got a first down. Did not have a catch since September. He's had two today. McLeese slips through a hole for a first down. Down to the 29-yard line. 11 more yards for Deshaun McLeese. Counterplay inside. Willis, by in time, threw behind Grimsley, who made the adjustment. First down to the red zone. Stephen Peoples is in, and he gets the catch. Tiptoeing the sideline. Let's see where he gets marked down. Willis, one on one, looking for Turner. Holy moly! Big play, Trey Turner, touchdown tech. One arm pin. You're fighting for position here, and you got to get up, overhaul anyway, and you get this one-handed. I mean, third down to 22. And Perkins, not nearly enough. Tavares Kelly. By Kelly all alone. Yeah. And pressure coming, and it's blocked. All the way to the end zone, and it's a touchdown for Virginia Tech. Trey Turner with the block again. Another big play. Here he comes off. The left side, he was so fast in there, he almost had to slow down. He had both hands. He could have blocked it with his entire body. You get the impression, too, that a little bit tired of the talk he was hearing coming from the Virginia area. Reed looking for a good return, and he'll take it out to the 29-yard line. Since the opening game against Florida State, there's Ellis on third down and eight. He only works his way to the 35, and Justin Fuente is going to use that final timeout. Chris Peace is there to stop Houston. This becomes an interesting call, potentially, depending on the spot. Go issues all season. Quick throw, Willis! It's picked off! Intercepted by Tim Harris! It's a fun race! No time left, and Willis saves the touchdown! Oh my goodness, what a close to the first half! Hey. 
Watch him come over to the sideline and save a touchdown. He comes way over to make this play, but he didn't have an easy time getting there. Oh, my goodness. Watch him from this angle. He's got an official in his way. Get oh out of my, my way. Goodness. He took out the center judge, Sean Garrity. That is the defensive play of the game. <laughs> On third down, Zacchaeus. Past the sticks for the first down. He held on. Running back for the New York Giants after a successful career at UCLA. Well, pressure on Perkins. Being chased by Walker. And somehow finding Hasis Dubois for a catch inside the 45. Attack only has six true seniors. A very small senior class. There's Jordan Ellis moving the chains. Another senior playing for this Virginia club. Perkins taking a shot for Joe Reed. Did he hold that in with one hand? Yes, he did. Touchdown, Virginia. Their first points against Tech in two years, and Joe Reed connects with Perkins. Well, that's the answer adjustment we've been talking about. And this time, Joe Reed is able to get deep, get behind his man. He gets by behind Watts and makes a one-handed catch as Watts was holding on to him. Look at that. Here is Peoples with a spin and a good run. Thornhill brings him down right near the sticks, Q. Yep, yep, yep. See, they rolled goes. the safety over. They go underneath for Grimsley, and he's got the first down, slipping past Mack. Brought down by Blunt. Rivalry contest. There's Grimsley on the jet sweep. He's got the first down. Hezekiah Grimsley. People's 32 out there with a good block. Bowling ball style yeah, back. Just watch Grimsley there. He leads this and look at that lane he opens up with that good block out there. And he missed from 43. Screen against the blitz. And Jalen Holston has the first down. First down into the red zone for Virginia Tech, but let's check the penalty flag. Five or seven yards to get comfortable. And I don't know how comfortable comfortable is. Here's Willis. He'll pick up the first down with his legs. He is really much faster and a better runner than most people you know, really knew about it. Very versatile up front, Q. Third down and nine. Willis won't make it this time. Chris Peace closed out the play. And maybe that gives Brian Johnson a little bit of confidence as he puts Virginia Tech up by 10. Bryce Perkins, three for three here. On his last three tosses, make it four for four. And Joe Reed breaks loose again. Joe Reed in a foot race is going to take it home again. Yeah, this is just a run pass option. You make a quick throw out. Diablo misses the tackle there. And then you have a second missed tackle and a bad angle. Those mistakes. A degree in sport industry. Wow, look at that shot by Willis. There goes Trey Turner again. Inside the 35. Four yards. Here it is. Run pass option. Fake the run inside. Get the backer up. Throw the slant right behind it. It's Trey Turner again. 50 plus from both the Rams and Chiefs. Another keep by Willis. And Ryan Willis sets up first down and goal for Virginia Tech. Who knew that kind of speed? He is outrunning safeties. We saw him run down one right before the half. Up the gut, and Juan Thornhill coming up to make the stop on People's Cube. And goal from the two. Yeah, it's got to be that guy. 
Peoples is out. He is the guy that should have the ball. McLeese gets the carry to the edge. Oh. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. They brought McLeese in specifically for that. Two nope. games. Now they brought him in for the speed to get him to the edge. And he uses it. You know, and they got to the line. The head coach at Memphis before taking the job at Virginia Tech. Perkins on the keep with a lot of room. And a good run into Virginia Tech territory for Bryce Perkins. He found that his back, Ellis was tackled back there, kept it. And again, you watch him run. On a quarterback, an actually dual threat player himself. Now he's going to loft one up there looking for Hassis Dubois. And the flags come flying in with Bryce Watts in coverage. He's down in 19 back at the 40-yard line. Perkins slips the pressure, throws for Zacchaeus. There is a penalty marker with Watts in coverage. Perkins designed run. And there goes Bryce Perkins. Finally brought down. Ooh, hands off to Ellis. And Jordan Ellis with the cutback for the touchdown. It looked like a bit of a messy handoff, but Ellis keeps it clean to the end zone. And a good job by Ellis reading it. He just, what? look at it, he's with Butts. He's like, oh, he's got him to the outside. I can get back in. Here's McLeese again. How did he slip out of that pack? He gets the first down to the 35-yard line. How about that spin move? Willis under pressure, dumps it off. There goes McLeese again. Won't make the line to gain, and it brings up fourth down. Nothing there for Ellis. Walker closes it out. Deep shot. Olamide Zacchaeus pulls it in. Closing in on breaking his own mark this year. Perkins with plenty of time, and he connects with Terrell Jana. Second down and eight for Bryce Perkins. The pressure coming, and he finds Dubois, and Virginia has taken the lead. Virginia has taken the lead on Virginia Tech. When's the last time you heard that? Have some toughness. Watch Perkins hang in here. Take that shot in the back. And then Dubois. Now Ryan Willis takes over at the 25-yard line. Pressure coming from Mack. And Jordan Mack makes the play. Wanted to get to Turner, but Turner got grabbed as he tried to get free, so really held on to the ball. I think there's a case there. Either way, it's third down and 14. Willis, pocket collapsing, ball is out. Virginia Tech recovers it, I believe. Charles Snowden jarred that ball loose, and it looked like Silas Janzi rescued the ball for Virginia Tech from Santa. Watch this. Good awareness, though. Good hustle. Right, Virginia Tech. Is Virginia Tech defense that has struggled in the second half all year, including tonight, step up. They stack up Bryce Perkins here, led by Reggie Floyd. Here's Perkins trying to make the cut up the field. And Walker closes out the play. That one, Stoneman, did he Got pick it? it? Charles Stoneman with an incredible play to try to pick it on his own deflection, and Virginia's got the ball. Guy, but watch it. 6'7", gets the hands up, and Willis just 
Second time in a row, didn't anticipate that window closing and that you had Snowden over there. But great reaction by Snowden from the 11-yard line. Nothing there for Perkins. This is a huge next few plays for Virginia Tech's defense. Perkins rolling for Zacchaeus. Incomplete. Good coverage by Divine Diablo. And that brings up fourth down. Ryan Delaney missed the field goal in overtime against Georgia Tech last week to tie it. High snap. Handled well by the holder, Nash Griffin, and Delaney delivers to put Virginia up by seven. Third and ten. Willis buys some time. Looking downfield. 50-50 ball. Simultaneous. Dalton Keed ripped it away from the defender. Ripped it away from Bryce Hall. What a play by Dalton Keen. Willis just gave him a chance. He was not open. In great position, and Keen took it away. 45 yards. Here's Willis. Running out of time, and he'll sling it to the sideline. Looking for Turner, and he's got a catch right at the sticks. Out there, there's your guy. Handoff. Peoples. Lost the football. Lucy the end zone. Virginia Tech. Touchdown. Are, are you kidding me? That's crazy. Peoples up the middle. Wide. Oh. Offside. Defense. Half a mission to the goal. Continue with the try. We'll re-kick that. A little bit of confusion on the snap there. There he is in the slot to the right. Perkins, sideline, looking for Jana. Inbounds makes the catch. Clock continues to move. They're both in the slots. Perkins will run. He's got the first down. Clock will stop to reset the chains and then move on the signals. 70 seconds to go. Perkins. That one is deflected, and it drops incomplete. Dax Hollyfield nearly made the play. Three-man rush. Perkins going deep into traffic, and it's incomplete. Trying to find Joe Reed out there. Just a three-man rush again. Perkins looking for a window. It is dropped. Nearly intercepted by Javon Quillen. It would have been the first pick of his career. Coleman delivers it away. Hazelton fair catch at the 23-yard line. I think the fans wanted him to get some more yardage, but playing it safe. They haven't made a field goal since October. First oh, down, your, Peoples. Here's your answer. Yep, Peoples with a great run on first down. Out to the 37-yard line. Let's see if Willis can make it a moot point. It'll be a handoff for Peoples. And he'll get out of bounds. That'll stop the clock across the 40-yard line. Self to field goal range. Draw play. Peoples. And yeah. down he goes. Good play by Jordan Mack. And again, no timeouts. So this is going to go to overtime. Has there been an overtime game between Virginia and Virginia Tech until this cold November night in Blacksburg? Third down and 10. Willis under pressure, still on his feet. Launches it away, and somehow he got away from Charles Snowden. Made one from 31 earlier. Can he make one from beyond 40? On the way in, he delivers. Much maligned in the second half of the season. Brian Johnson with a clutch kick. It's Perkins. Looking for Dubois, and he's got a first down. Down to the 14-yard line. How about that? Perkins held on to it, and that ball came out loose. 
Is it over? A scrub for the ball, and Virginia Tech has it. They win. Emmanuel Bilbour has it. And the Hokies survive another scare from the Cavaliers. What a win in overtime, and it's 15 in a row. It is the pressure, but it wasn't the pressure that caused the fumble. It was a missed handoff. It looked like Perkins couldn't decide.